in this video I want to show you one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 22 I think this is something that you can utilize to beat literally any defense in this game I also want to let you know that in this video we're going to be taking a look at some concepts out of the trips tied in so if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button I upload videos every single day that can help you to get uh, better at this game I also want to let you know that um, if you don't know I do have a patreon and that's where you can get all of my Madden 22 ebooks I've got 15 offensive and defensive guides available and more on the way as well by joining the patreon for just ten dollars a month you get access to everything you get access to all the ebooks all the schemes we update it pretty much every week with new content so again if you're looking to get take your game to the next level i really recommend that you would check out that patreon i'm going to put a link in the description to it so you can go check that out if you want to and in this video, we're talking about a concept out of Trips Tight End. And what we want to do with this is you're going to want to have a Tight End Apprentice or a Hot Route Master. And then we can actually do this out of really any play. Um, it, it's going to be uh, majority Hot Routes, but I like the fade off of PA Counter Ghost. So that's what we're going to use. And uh, what we want to do here is we actually... You can be on either hash mark, it really doesn't matter. I do like to be on the right side hash mark just because it's gonna give us a little bit more space for this, uh, but you can do it um, on either side. And then what we're gonna do with this is we're actually gonna go ahead and take Scotty Miller and put him on a uh, either curl or deep dig route, it's up to you, um, but either a curl or like a 10 yard out. Or if you wanted to, you could put him on a post just like that and then we're going to take Rob Gronkowski and we're going to put him on a crossing route we're going to wheel the running back and then we're going to motion Scotty Miller to the right so you see how this looks right here now essentially what this is is it's Y cross our first read is the zig if the zig is open take the zig the zig is one of the best routes in this game and the way that it works it beats man and it beats zone coverage so let me give you a scenario that you're going to see here this is going to be a, a little cover zero uh, pressure and this is a really good pressure release because what's going to happen is if they're shading their coverage up that whip you can almost always trust it and as you can see it gets wide open against that it can turn into a pretty good game so the zig is really really effective against man to man now let's say for example that they say you know what we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to try to uh, go press coverage on the zig well um, you'll see here the slot the nickel back there can press me up but now what we're going to see here is this fade on the left side is going to be open uh, over the top. So if you get press coverage, oftentimes this fade uh, to Mike Evans is really, really good. Uh, you can get this open a lot. Also, your your route to Gronkowski. Notice, too, that even when we motion snap, if we're, if we're blitzing me, I'm going to have Godwin open on that zig because that nickel corner is now going to be misaligned against the trips tight end formation. But I also want to show real quick. Whoops. Um, let me see if I can get my adjustments here. There we go. Okay. So I want to show real quick this route to Mike Evans off of a press. So if you have deep out elite um, or short out elite, uh, both of those abilities will really help this. But you'll see here just lob it over the top. Oftentimes, that's going to burn the coverage um, in a press cover situation. So you've got, you know, some of those opportunities. And then let's say, on, and then another thing that I like about this offense is the spacing again. So let's say that they're running a, a blitz on you, and they're going to press up on this zigger. They're going to try to take that away. Well, look to your always look to your wheel. You're going to notice against trips tight in, this wheel becomes wide open against a cover zero blitz. And I can take that, you know, for a lot of yards. The wheel in this year's game is so effective, you can pretty much throw it against anything, okay? Now, let's say, for example, you're going to get a little bit of a cover three blitz here uh, with hard flats. The whole middle of the field is going to be open in this scenario. Uh, so, again, you just want to get this post all the way out. I actually like to go ahead. You can just let him set his feet. Uh, what you're going to notice here is you can actually low ball um, I need an aggressive catch that, but you can actually low ball that wheel route when it cuts up field. And I'll show that one more time here. So this is like a send six style blitz. Obviously the user would probably bail to the middle of the field. 
Um, they've got a hard flat on the field for you know the right situation here. But again, you're just gonna let this guy get out there. What you're gonna notice is he's gonna pull the flats out, so you're gonna low ball that, click on aggressive, catch it, and there you see he's not gonna be able to get that interception animation uh, that he was able to get. Now, let's say that the core or the user or you know whoever really, let's say that they run out to, um, let's say that they run out to the running back. Well, now the whole middle of the field is going to be open for your crosser. So you see something like this. You can throw that crosser right in there. And as you can see, it gets open. It gets open against pretty much every coverage in the game. The one coverage that can give that uh, that, that crossing route uh, just a little bit of trouble is a cover two. Um, so if I go into a Tampa two. But what you're going to see in a Tampa two scenario is oftentimes this fade on the left side. Uh, you're just going to pass that uh, up. And it will get open, especially if, um, you know, especially if they're if they're they're not uh, pressing out of this. That fade is really really good against cover two. Um, but again, you still have your crossing route. You can still hit your crossing route at certain points. Um, and then really, what the route though that you want to check out on this is actually going to be this post uh, to Miller. So as the crossing route is going to run the user out of the middle of the field. You can throw that post right in there, and as you can see, it's a really nice little uh, one-two read. It's basically Y cross from trip side in, but I think it works really, really well. Um, if you wanted to take Scotty Miller and put him on a curl, uh, you certainly could. I also said that if you don't have Hot Master, just put him on a smart routing in. That's also fine, and uh, what you're going to notice is you're going to get the same basic thing, right? You can get the same basic thing, and then, of course, look how deep that crosser gets about 25 to 30 yards down the field. So this wide cross concept pretty much beats every coverage in the game. It's, it's one of my favorite uh, little plays. If you want to go double crossers, like let's say you have um, Hot Route Master, it's not a bad call. Um, you just want to make sure that that second crosser gets delayed enough so that it can actually get all the way. But if you watch, it'll go all the way across the field and be in an, I'll show you one more time here, uh, against the Mabel coverage. But this is something that you could do uh, with this concept as well. And this is something that's going to make this really, really hard for a Mabel type of look to be able to guard. So what it is, is it's just a double crosser. And what you're going to notice is Miller is going to keep running on this typically. So you're going to see he's going to run a lot over the top of, of Gronk. So you got Gronk there, but then now you have Miller for about 40 uh, for about 50 or I'm sorry 40 yards over the top of that so anyways that is the Y crossing concept that I like to run out of trip side in I think it's really really effective if you guys want to check out the patreon I've got my full trip side in ebook in there uh, we've also got like I said several other ones we got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks so if you want to get all of those for just one low price at ten dollars I would really encourage you to join the patreon there's gonna be a link in the description that you can go down and click so if you're still watching the video and you want to get that, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there.